Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it's dark, it's early, it's Wednesday morning. We've got part two of the Final Fantasy VIII collaboration patch live. So let's break it down like we always do, starting with the daily purchase bonus. And once again, everything you want to see here in the purchase bonus is here. You got the Mind Spheres for the Whale bonus with Blossoms. That's a W. Um, I would, maybe if I was going to change one thing, scrolls here instead of Blossoms. There's other places to get Blossoms this week, but there's also other places to get scrolls this week so not the biggest deal ever and then the daily purchase bonus itself is great you got shards every day balls antlers pots uh scrolls shards and a rainbow fragment pretty much everything you want on the daily purchase bonus so that's looking good including that antler on day two i mean i'm back up to four with all the presents that we've just gotten but those things could could go away pretty fast if you know what i'm saying so there's your daily purchase bonus now banners this week let's look at this we got some really good ones including a you are guaranteed free 30 pull one time only so make sure you get this done get in here get your worldwide version you are guaranteed free pull this one right here is a continuation from last week it has six days left it's 10 URs guaranteed 50 pull so okay then we have some new ones these are paid visitor new options so one time only 10 urs guaranteed 50 pull but it's paid visitor so you can actually retry it three times love this especially if you're like a brand new newer kind of player these are some of the best banners you'll ever see and we used to get just the 10 ur guaranteed it's now a 50 pull instead of just 10 urs guaranteed so you have you're going to end up getting a lot more than 10 urs unless you are just massively unlucky but that's not my favorite paid banner this week it's this one because same thing it's a vision card only 50 pull with 10 urs guaranteed can be retried up to three times if you're a new player there's just such a chance here that you will catch vision cards catch espers that you don't have that you need you're going to catch shards for vision cards you're working on there's just a lot to be gained by this pull and being able to retry it three times this really decreases the bad luck you're going to have. Now, would I like there to be some kind of select element to this? Yeah, of course, right? Of course I would. But this is a very, very good value pull right there. Then there are free Vizior options. 2000 Viz will get you a one retry 5UR unit and a one retry 5UR vision card. Both of those are fine options as well. Now, Irvine's banners. His regular banner is the 5% at a time true pity banner. So at not that 100 cost, right? His drop rate is a normal unit drop rate at 0.8%. You hopefully don't have to fill that all the way up if you're pulling for your guy today, but that's how his regular banner works. Here's the regular banner for the vision card. Again, don't pull on the regular banner for the vision card. It's just not a good idea. Irvine's nine step banner is the old school nine step. So if you're going for the coin pity route, this is a good option to get some of those other, you know, blossoms. Um, if you need the elemental materials, the broadstone, stuff like that, those are in the nine step. You got a couple free pulls in there and it gets you, you know, many, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps towards pity. Okay, then he has a paid step up. This is the paid step up that's usually existing. Two and four free steps, declining costs with Irvine shards in the last slot. Then there's these. This is the thing I thought I was pulling on last week, and I accidentally did the vision card one instead. But it's the 1000 pull with the 2% drop rate. I don't recommend these. I did get lucky on the one I pulled last week, but that was more of like I had just gone to pity on Squall and I was live and I was like, you know what? Just take take a thousand of my biz, and it worked out for me, but I I still don't think this is the play. Okay, Mind Sphere banner. Again, always you want to do these. 80 Mind Spheres for 2K, plus you got Irvine on here. His drop rate, I'm sure it's the yeah, it's the 0.8% boosted rate. So make sure you're hitting that. There's a paid Vizior option for that as well that includes five URs guaranteed. Then we got his vision card. So here's the five step for his vision card. Again, the card is guaranteed on step five. It's free viz. This is the go-to banner for pulling a vision card. And then here's the one that I accidentally did pull last week. I lucked out, got the vision card, saved myself some precious Vizior, uh, but I still don't recommend it. And that's it for new banners today. Okay, Mog Shop, there's really nothing special or new in here. There was a bug they announced that the October medals were like looking like the September medals, but even though they look different, you are getting October medals. 
you, yeah you see what i'm saying so don't even worry about all that then we have irvine shop this is where you could coin pity him or get your shards otherwise nothing spectacular in there vision card shop here's where you go after you do your five step to get your shards for the vision card you just five stepped and that's the breakdown of all of that okay in the shop once again no update to the special shop it looks like we are stuck in and look there is a lot of things, and I'll just take a minute here to say something. There is a lot of things that Road to Worldwide was really bad at. By the end of Road to Worldwide, many of those things had been fixed. The daily purchase bonuses were fixed. The shard packs back to where they used to be. Uh, banners improved as we got to the end. The damage that was done early, you'll never undo, right? Like that damage will never be undone in the minds of a lot of people, but much of it was fixed thanks to the reaction of the community and all of that but one thing that is yet to be fixed and really it blows my mind is we just seem to be in this rotation of we get a special shop update when we get it there's a certain amount of days we don't get anything more till those days roll out like this is a collaboration just put more in here just hey hey you made a bunch of money probably off of week one like pack h put another one in there but let people buy it again. I just don't know why they don't want to make money. It's really weird. And I think the financial side of it is panning out to be um, the way we predicted this update hitting them in the wallet. I think it probably has. I think they should change this back. If you're running a collaboration, if you're running something special, just continue to load that special shop up with deals. We like deals. We like deals. And a lot of us like the game and we want to support it financially but we just want deals that's all there okay the eight shop is i mean that's already gone that was week one here's irvine shop so here's your 300 paid ticket there's a deal that people will buy every single time they see it uh irvine summon pack if you're doing the regular banner that's a decent option here's irvine shard pack with the 80 shards and 10 vision spheres here's your gill shards every day for irvine and the vision card make sure you're buying those on the daily then this shop is really good again week one or part one of this deluxe shop was great part two is as well 60 paid every day will get you three rainbow spheres and exp cubes as many people as complain about a shortage of rainbow vision spheres this is a good bit of income for them every day 60 paid that sucks that's a dollar that's one dollar a worth of paid vizior every day if you want to do that so transcendence pack i love this one as well 300 paid get you 120 scrolls every day if you're trying to max reincarnate another unit one of the collab units something like that this is a go-to spot for some scrolls. I will probably be taking advantage of that. Just got to switch to my Amazon account where I have paid viz. Uh, the deluxe pack for 300 paid here. Again, more access to rainbow materials if you need it. EX job enhancing pack. The deal here is it's a thousand paid for the three blossoms. This is the this is the one I like the least of the paid visual options for sure. Then there's this one, which is 1,000 paid for 50 vision card select shards. Goes all the way up to Dark Siren right there, all the way back as far as you want it to go. I like this as an option for people working on their vision cards. Okay, the celebration part one or part two shop, you got every day energy pots and EXP cubes for free. We got Gil. Uh, scrolls of vicissitude love that you can see i'm building my scrolls back up i max reincarnated cloud that drained me i'm building it back up with these scroll deals that we're seeing okay the version part two pack this is why i really don't like that paid pack because this is 1000 free viz for six blossoms and a much more useful part of elemental materials right here right like this the 300 fragments and awakening prisms is very good six blossoms is awesome this is a very worth pack if you're running low on blossoms okay you are transcendence back this really isn't bad either because it's free viz it's 500 free viz you can buy it five times or three times you get 100 scrolls and exp cubes in each one i like that a lot the training pack okay now we're getting to the part where it just sort of runs out of steam and then you just kind of are like okay you get an antler if you need one but let's just head down here and buy the stuff for gill and that is that so Guys, um, as far as my live stream goes, I think I am going to go ahead and live stream today. I know I said this like every video this week, but we're right in the middle of that move. It is, I'm going to be moving my computer stuff this weekend to the new office. Please let the internet work day one right when I plug it in because it's the weekend and I doubt I can get anybody out there to fix it. But we'll see. We could be by next dark and early Monday making our first video from the new uh from the new home i won't be moved in yet but that's the room like that's that's believe it or not that's the room i'm doing first because without that room i can't do any of this so i'm trying to prioritize that so uh hang with me if i'm uh 
a little bit less present over the next few weeks. I do apologize, but I will stream today. I want to, on my stream today, I want to do Irvine polls. Don't think I'm going to pity for him, but I will pull him. I will attempt to pull him anyway. Doubt I have to go to pity. And then I want to do some Ever Crisis uh, score ranking dungeons live on stream. So I might not get a chance to do that before that event is over, unless it's today. Thank you for watching. Have a great one, everybody, and I'll see you there. Peace.